Welcome back to Infigan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting question from radical algebra. Here we have to evaluate P and Q, where A minus B equal to P square minus Q square when this equation holds true. So let's get it started by considering this bracket only equal to x. So our equation becomes x power 6 equal to 5 power 6 divided by a minus b square root 21. Let me write x separately and let's simplify. So square root 232. We can factor 232 as 21 times 11. So let me write root 21 times root 11 plus square root 1 to 1 square root 11 times square root 11 plus square root 21 plus square root 11 over 44 can be factorized 4 times 11 so 2 root 11 plus square root 21 plus 1. Now I can take root 11 common from here and 1 common from these two. So I can write root 11 common in bracket root 21 plus root 11. Then 1 is common root 21 plus root 11 over. This will be I will write root 21 then I split to root 11 as root 11 plus root 11 plus 1. This is our x. Now I will take root 21 plus root 11 common. So I will get root 21 plus root 11. In other bracket I can write root 11 plus 1 divided by root 21 plus root 11 plus root 11 plus 1. Now I can flip our numerator and denominator. So take reciprocal both sides. 1 over x will become root 21 plus root 11 plus root 11 plus 1 divided by root 21 plus root 11 in one bracket in other root 11 plus 1. Now I will split with respect to these two brackets. So I can write further it will be cancelled out root 21 plus root 11. So it will be left 1 over root 11 plus 1 plus 1 over root 21 plus root 11. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I can multiply numerator and denominator with, let me write here, root 11 plus 1 times root 11 minus 1. So I need to multiply here also, root 11 minus 1. Here I will be multiplying root 21 minus root 11. So I need to write in the denominator root 21 plus root 11. In other bracket root 21 minus root 11. Now numerator will be root 11 minus 1. And denominator will be after difference of two squares identity 11 minus 1. Here also root 21 minus root 11 and then I will be writing denominator 21 minus 11. So both the denominators will be 10. Let us write here root 11 minus 1 over 10 plus root 21 minus root 11 by 10. And this value is 1 over x value. Now I will add simply as denominators are same. So I can cancel these two directly. It will left with root 21 minus 1 divided by 10. 
this is the value of 1 over x. Now our original equation was x power 6 equal to 5 power 6 over this was a minus b square root 21. So I can calculate 1 over x value from here. So I can write here 1 over x power 6. This will be equal to a minus b square root 21 divided by 5 power 6. So let us write here it would be equal to 1 over x value. So I will be writing here 1 over x equal to root 21 minus 1 over 10. These two equations I will club all together. So I can write root 21 minus 1 over 10 whole power 6. This is our LHS. RHS will be a minus b square root 21 divided by 5 power 6. Now I can factor this 10. Let me write here. I will be writing root 21 minus 1 over 2 times 5 whole power 6. And RHS is a minus b square root 21 divided by 5 power 6. Now simply I can cancel 5 power 6, 5 power 6. So it is left with square root 21 minus 1 over 2 whole power 6. And RHS is a minus b square root 21. Now I will write this power 6 as square root 21 minus 1 over 2 whole cube times 2. So I will be writing power 2 a minus b square root 21. Now you can see I will calculate cube first and then I will square. Let us consider cubing first. So, square root 21 minus 1 whole cube. I will be writing 21 square root 21 minus 1 cube is minus 1 minus 3a square b. So, 21 times 3, 63 plus 3ab square. So, 3 square root 21 divided by 8 and whole square is there equal to a minus b square root 21. Now I can write 21 plus 3, 24 square root 21 minus 64 divided by 8 power is 2 RHS is A minus B square root 21. Now 24 and 64 both numbers are divisible by 8. Let us divide. It will come out 3 square root 21 minus 8. Let me write here. 3 square root 21 minus 8 and then whole square equal to a minus b square root 21. Now consider squaring. So I will be writing 9 times 21, 189. This is a square plus b square 64 minus 2ab. So 24 times 2, 48 root 21. This is equal to a minus b root 21. Now 189 plus 64, it is 253 minus 48 root 21 equal to a minus b root 21. So once I will compare both sides, I can write a is equal to 253 and b is equal to 48. So the value of a minus b which is required here a minus b will be equal to 253 minus 48. So this value will be 205. Now we have to write this 205 in terms of 
p square minus q square. So I will begin with factorization of 205. Let me write here. I will be writing here 205. If I will factorize, I can write first 205 times 1. And second factor which I will consider, it is 41 times 5. As both numbers are prime numbers, we won't get further factors. I am not talking about negative factors. We will write directly in the answer. Now 205 times 1. So as per rule, if I will move from here, a equal to a is any number whose products or factors are m and n. And we want to write in the form m plus n times m minus n. Then I can write m will be equal to, if I will write like this, m plus n equal to m, small m minus n equal to n. Once I will add these two equations, I will get a small m is equal to capital M plus n by 2 and a small n will be capital M minus n by 2. Means we have to add these two factors for our first number and consider by 2, divide by 2. So 205 plus 1, 206 by 2, 103. So I can write 103. Now plus the n will be m minus n, the difference, 205 minus 1, 204 by 2, 102. And second bracket, 103 minus 102. You can check 103 plus 102 is 205, 103 minus 102 is 1. So we will get 103 whole square minus 102 whole square. So we can consider this is our P and this is our Q. Similarly with 41 times 5. Add these two. So I can add 41 and 5. It will give us 46. Half of that 23. So we can write 23 plus difference of both 36. Half of that 18. So 23 plus 18 times 23 minus 18. So from here we will be having, it is 23 square minus 18 square. And here we have 103 whole square minus 102 whole square. So easily we can conclude P equal to 103, Q equal to 102. From here, and from here I can write P equal to 23 and q equal to 18. What about negative factors? So simply I can write here a minus b equal to p square minus q square. So any combination of p and q where sign doesn't matter. So I can write from here p comma q first. The first value which we calculated 103 comma 102. Now I will be writing negative 103 comma 102. Then I will be writing 103 comma negative 102. And then I will write both negative. Negative 102. These values are PQ values. These values are not factors of number. Now I will write the second answer that was 2318. So P comma Q. First one I will write. 23 comma 18. Second value will be negative 23 comma 18 as it is going power 2 and then 23 minus 18 and last is minus 23 minus 18. So these values of P and Q we can accept once this condition is applied. This brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and bye bye.